It has been confirmed that Elon Musk's personal wallet contains approximately 16.7 million XRP, and not only that, but he actually owns XRP. On the other hand, this is absolutely bonkers because he has just offered to co-run the Department of Government Efficiency Doge with Vivek following his approval. Currently, he is offering Ripple Labs $25 billion to acquire the entire company, including the XRP escrow. Out of this world. Plus, XRP is expected to surge to $149.29 in the next two days, according to predictions, within the next two days of November 15th. This is probably because of these huge announcements. More than $3 trillion has just poured into the cryptocurrency market, and it's going to blow up. Here we are in the crypto space, folks. Furthermore, XRP holders should be exceedingly bullish as their XRP value is poised to soar. Game, and it has already started doing so, increasing by a staggering 30% in the last 48 hours to more than 75 cents. And this is just the beginning of the huge boost that XRP holders can expect, particularly in light of Elon Musk's monumental announcement. I am happy to announce that I am holding a huge XRP giveaway with XRP valued at more than $5,500, and I would like to share this news with all of you. To participate in the giveaway, simply hit the like button. One person's life is going to be changed by this thanks to XRP. A simple like, subscribe, share, and comment XRP or done in the video's description will get you entered into the giveaway. Also, the giveaway will be selected at 5,000 retweets, so make sure you retweet this tweet immediately. Congratulations to the winners. Now that we've taken care of that, let's jump into the video. First, I'd like to present the actual article that was published. Elon Musk recently spent $41 billion acquiring Twitter, and as part of that deal, he offered Ripple Labs $25 billion to acquire the entire company along with its escrow. By November 15th, when XRP prices reach $149.29 each, it all makes perfect sense. Imagine for a second the potential trillions of dollars that the XRP ledger could soon enable. In reality, Ripple has not only partnered with the most prestigious banks, but in the past week, there has been a flurry of activity in the news, with Ripple holding meetings with members of Trump's team, the U.S. Federal Reserve, and Qatar National Bank. Now, Qatar National Bank has officially announced that it will be using XRP, and Ripple has launched and begun implementing their RLUSD stablecoin. Additionally, Gary Gensler is facing investigations and is expected to step down. The XRP Ripple Labs case has finally concluded. The obvious question is what does this signify? Well, it's all coming back to the basics of the impending huge price surge for XRP. Consequently, it is going to skyrocket in price. Once more, this is tremendous, and XRP owners have every reason to be ecstatic as XRP keeps going up in price. And we're just scratching the surface because there's a deluge of news, much of it focused on Elon Musk personally, the kind that appeared in a stolen report from a few months ago. It was discovered that Elon Musk's cryptocurrency wallet contained over 16.7 million XRP. Elon Musk abruptly decided to move all of his cryptocurrencies, including XRP, to separate wallets shortly after its release. Also, nobody really remembers what his new wallet looks like. Our best guess is that Elon Musk held 16.7 million XRP a few months ago, but that's about it. In fact, he has acknowledged it on numerous occasions in his speeches, conferences, and even Twitter tweets, where he occasionally drops hints. We must also turn our attention to the Federal Reserve, an institution that has grown to play a significant role in both the XRP community and the American government as a whole. In light of the announcement by soon-to-be President Donald J. Trump, the Federal Reserve has announced a $68 billion buyback of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and maybe XRP. Cryptocurrencies will now be held by the Federal Reserve, joining gold and USD. I am a fan of Bitcoin and XRP. Naturally, this is very bullish. The Federal Reserve has publicly stated that the XRP ledger and XRP as a cryptocurrency will likely be used to facilitate the blockchain element of their FedNow payment system. We have also discovered this article and this information right here, which is absolutely massive. Naturally, this is because it enables them to sell payments much faster and at a lower cost than the current FedNow payment system. It goes without saying that this has also been a topic of discussion for an extremely long time. Introducing a blockchain component to the Federal Reserve via payment system run by the Federal Reserve has long been considered but never entered the realm of practical application. Furthermore, this might be the final push we need from Doge to implement blockchain with XRP much more quickly and with much more efficiency. 
However, we must also demonstrate this to you. This is none other than David Antelfodi, a senior official at the U.S. Federal Reserve and all the way up to a senior director at the Fed. Also, according to him, the Fed could hire a third party, such as Ripple, to handle settlement. This is the official announcement by the U.S. Federal Reserve that the world reserve currency will be converted to XRP. So you really must pay attention. Let's pay close attention. Some wonder how the public can have faith in the Federal Reserve to handle financial records. You wouldn't think the Federal Reserve would steal your money, as I indicated before in my response. Something is amiss with the accounting if the Federal Reserve can print all the money at once. If you're ready to hand over control to a third party, you can use this massive spreadsheet call it the blockchain if you like managed by the Federal Reserve for a fraction of the cost of Bitcoin. Unfortunately, there are also drawbacks to consider, such as the possibility that you would prefer not to have the Fed be in charge of handling the financial transactions. Consider the possibility that the Fed is limiting some purchases due to know your customer regulations. You should be aware that they may reject certain purchases that you intend to make. At that point, I suggested taking the idea a notch further if we were so inclined. I'm not claiming this will actually happen. But what if, instead of using Fedwire for everyone, you could think of it as a kind of Fed coin where the Federal Reserve would institute a par exchange rate with the US dollar and simply issue these Bitcoin-like objects. In doing so, the fluctuation in exchange rates would be eradicated. On the other hand, they might hire a third party, a protocol similar to Ripple, or even Bitcoin to handle the clearing of these payments. The miners could be entrusted with the task of handling these electronic Fedcoin payments. So, the concept would be, it has been announced that even the US Federal Reserve will start accepting XRP as payment. The more we learn about the XRP digital currency and its ledger, the more significant this becomes. For the simple reason that the XRP ledger is the meat and potatoes of Ripple Labs and XRP. Not everything has to do with XRP. Now, as Ripple's co-founder said, XRP could set records. As for the price of XRP, there are a number of other projects on the XRP lunder that will either match it or possibly exceed it by a significant margin, perhaps even by a factor of 100. The crypto training fund is one such token it is concerned with the monetary aspect of payment facilitation. The basic idea behind a MasterCard is that you can earn rewards in the form of cash back. The good news is that you can now do it with cryptocurrency, earn purchases, and receive free CTF tokens, basically money. Now. They've started collaborating with some major actors already. For instance, it is stated on the website that CTF has already collaborated with Amazon for their works platform. Plus, they've made it official that they've also partnered with Walmart, and the launch is set for November 15th at 11.59 p.m. Optimism reigns. 